Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time aboard, make sure you hit subscribe before you go too far and realise that we produce absolute rubbish and it's too late for you to subscribe at that point. If this is not your first time on the channel though, welcome back. There might be something wrong with you. In either case, thank you very much for coming along and hopefully you'll enjoy the content that we've got for you today. Today we are going to be taking a look at Tri Brigade as an archetype. You're not going to walk away an expert in this. We are going to give you a rundown of the very basics that you need to know to pilot the deck or be better equipped to defeat it. If you are looking to pick the deck up and you don't happen to have your singles yet, check out the link to Jam Jam Cards UK in the description. Their eBay store has an exclusive discount courtesy of myself via the link in the description. Go check it out, get yourself a nice discount on the cards you might need after this video. But that's enough waffling on and talking absolute fucking nonsense. Let's get stuck right in to the video. Tri Brigade is a deck which has recently debuted into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG in Phantom Rage, and is an archetype made up of Beast, Beast Warrior, and Wing Beast monsters, likely what the Tri part of the name is referencing. The deck seems to have much in common with the Dogmatica archetype, although there isn't too much information on the lore behind this deck yet, but the links are there to be seen in the artwork as well as the Fusion monster, and both decks appear to be somewhat linked by Fallen of Albaz. Generally speaking, the deck revolves around the link summoning mechanic and banishing monsters. Although we are seeing the deck being experimented with using other engines that complement and give it a slightly different edge, having synergy with most decks that heavily use the monster types mentioned earlier. Given that the deck is still very much in its experimental stage, most of the information we'll be giving you is purely speculative, and this is likely to change rapidly. For this reason, I advise using more than just this as a point of reference when building the deck and learning the ropes. For this part of the video, we'll be doing a run through of the currently released slash reveal Tri Brigade cards. Of course, there'll be likely more released in future, including some in Blazing Vortex, which we've included in here for longevity, so do keep this in mind. At the time of recording this video, some of these cards are not yet released into the TCG, so we may have some loose translations included in the images. I'll be reading the effects in a somewhat shortened manner in order to save time on the video. I will show these on the screen for you though so that you can read for yourself, although given that you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, we both know that you won't be reading a fucking thing. So we start off with Tri Brigade Nerval. You can banish any number of Beast, Beast Warrior and or Wing Beasts from your graveyard to special summon a Beast, Beast Warrior or Wing Beast Link Monster from your extra deck with a Link rating equal to the number banished. Also, you can only use these types of monsters as Link material for the rest of the turn. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a Tri Brigade monster from your deck to your hand except Nerval. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Tri Brigade Kit. You can banish any number of Beast, Beast Warrior and or wing beasts from your graveyard to special summon a beast, beast warrior or wing beast link monster from your extra deck with a link rating equal to the number banished. Also, you can only use these monster types as link material for the rest of the turn. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can send a tri brigade card from your deck to the graveyard except for kit. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Tri brigade Keras. You can discard another beast, beast warrior or wing beast to special summon it from your hand. You can banish any number of Beast, Beast Warriors, and or Wing Beasts to special summon a Link Monster with one of these types from your extra deck with a Link rating equal to the number banished. You can only use these types of monsters for Link materials for the rest of the turn. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Tri Brigade Fractal. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to send one level 3 or lower Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast from your deck to the graveyard. You can banish any number of Beast, Beast Warriors, and or Wing Beasts to special summon a Link Monster with one of those types from your extra deck with a Link rating equal to the number banished. You can only use these types of monsters as Link materials for the rest of the turn. Each effect is a hard once per turn. We then move on to some of our extra deck options. And apologies in advance if I butcher any of the names here, they're a little bit weird and they don't sit right with me. Tri Brigade Ferret. Tri Brigade Ferret. The Baron Blossom. I'm not really sure if it should be Ferrier, but that's what fucking ever. It's a Link 2 that requires two Beast, Beast Warrior, and or Wing Beast monsters. 
During your main phase, you can special summon one level 4 or lower beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from your hand. Also, you can't use monsters other than these types as link materials for the rest of the turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Each effect is a hard one per turn. Tri Brigade Rugal the Silver Sheller. It's a Link 3 that requires 2 plus Beast, Beast Warrior, and or Wing Beast monsters. I'm fucking fed up, sick to the back of my fucking teeth saying those monster types. During your opponent's main phase, you can Quick Effect, Special Summon 1 level 4 or lower Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast monster from your hand or graveyard, but negate its effects, then return it to the hand during the end phase. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can make all monsters your opponent controls lose 300 attack for each monster type you control until the end of this turn. Each effect is a hard one per turn. And lastly, for our monsters, we have Tri Brigade Shureg, the Ominous Omen. It's a Link 4 that requires 2 plus Beast, Beast Warrior, and or Wing Beast monsters. If another Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast monster or monsters are special summoned to your side of the field, you can banish a card on the field that is non targeting. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast from your deck to your hand whose level is less than or equal to the number of your banished monsters of these types. Each effect is a hard one per turn. That is a full list of the existing current support for the deck directly, although you could somewhat consider Brygrand, the Glory Dragon, and Fallen of Albaz all to be linked too. Next up, we're moving on to the spells and traps for the deck. Tri Brigade Airborne Assault. Target a beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster you control. Special summon one of these types from your deck in defense position with a different type and an attack equal to or less than that monster's, but its effects are negated until the end of the turn. Also, you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck except for link monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only activate one copy of Assault per turn. Tri Brigade Standoff. You can't special summon from the extra deck except for beast, beast warrior, and or winged beast monsters. You can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard, then add a Tri Brigade from your deck to your hand with a different original type than the monster sent. This effect is a hard one per turn. If this card in its owner's spell or trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can activate this effect. Your opponent can't declare an attack this turn. Tri Brigade Rendezvous. You can target any number of linked beast, beast warriors, and or winged beasts you control. They gain 700 attack until the end of this turn. If a linked monster or monsters of these types would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Each effect is a hard one per turn. Tri Brigade Oath. Target one linked monster you control. Special summon a beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster with a different type from your hand or graveyard. If you control at least one of each beast, beast warrior, and winged beast monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target a face-up spell or trap your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of this turn. You can only use one effect per turn, and only once that turn. And lastly, we have Tri Brigade Revolt. Special summon a number of your beast, beast warrior, and or winged beast monsters that are banished and or in your graveyard, but negate their effects. Then, after this effect resolves, immediately link summon a tri brigade link monster using only those monsters. You can only activate one copy of Revolt per turn. Now, unless I'm completely smooth brained, a quick bit of mathematics will tell you that you can't run an entire deck just off these cards alone. So, as mentioned earlier, experimentation is key. Fortunately, the game has many archetypes that can be used in conjunction as engines with this deck. There's also a ton of generic support that can be used with the deck too. As a quick note on non tri brigade support options that you could consider, you could try some of the following out and see how they gel with the deck as a whole. The following are all archetypes that should have some good synergy, so again, something you should definitely consider Lunar Light, Fire Fist, Cymorg, 
Zodiac, Melfi, Dogmatic. And for the final part of this video, we're going to take a look at some sample deck lists. It's worth noting though that before we continue, these decks aren't intended to be ones that you just pick up and play straight away. They're not going to have been extensively tested. The ratios are going to be off. It's just to give you some ideas of cards that you could consider running, variants of builds you could consider trying, and certainly something that you should definitely build from and take advantage of in order to tweak and make better to your own tastes. Again, please don't rush out and buy all of these cards. It would be really, really stupid as YouTubers are well known for being absolutely rubbish at this game. So you shouldn't take any of my advice contrary to what this video tells you. On the flip side, if you are considering picking up any of these cards, check out the link in the description to Jam Jam Cards UK and you can use my link for an exclusive discount so that you can get your hands on these for a little bit cheaper. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.